same thing I applied here. So I applied this categorical function on car data on this car truck column and saving the results or the you know the uh, the the output same variable that is car data dot car truck column right. Same I'm using for city highway column. Here that I have created this car IDs. Okay, I I want to extract all cars, whatever the cars available into this car truck uh, column. So, so this function will extract me for only column, only column entries. Okay, whatever the the cars available into that particular column, the the only entries will give me. Okay. Same thing I'm applying for this, you know, uh, the cities and trucks. So I'm extracting cities from this cities from this city highway column, and if I talk about this, you know, uh, the uh, the truck from this. Uh, the, the the car truck column right also that i have created city ids so i have extracted city highway city highways column from city and highways from this city highway okay so i uh, i just want to tell you that the simple thing is here i want to extract some some values from particular column okay for example i have column uh, car truck so there are different car uh, car and truck available there so for example in one position car is there or second truck is there so if i'm using this you know the the car car data truck car so only car values will give me right so let me run this thing okay so this variables has now we created for example if i click on this car data okay whatever the whatever the values of this you know the cars available there so it will give me zero value if truck is available there then it will give me the one value right so these are some things that we can do with categorical functions right so now if you talk about the distribution thing i want to distrib uh, distribute my data into different things right for example i am using uh, for this the distribution function app okay so i have used this uh, i have created this function using data distribution app okay this mpg distributions okay let me just run this thing if you see this app tab here so if you just go here into this app tab so the number of applications or gui based things available into matlab if you see like control system design analysis so these are you know according to this uh, application so there are so there are gui based apps available for example a control system designer or you know if, if i if i talk about the machine learning and deep learning so you can also work with the classification learner you can also design some deep network designer thing okay and i want to uh, work with the regression so reg for regression thing uh, there is a one uh, app available so this is the regression learner right also further for extension of this classification and regression you can also work with this reinforcement learning to uh, apps right so now if you see this math statics optimization so from that this data distribution fitter uh, apps is available so if you click on this so matlab will pop up with this window let me open the yeah okay so this is the data distribution func uh, apps okay if you see this the display type like right? you can you can select like cumulative probability functions or continuity or probability plot some survivor functions or some customizable things right for example uh, if i if i just click on this data i i, I first i need a data okay so i need to uh, extract data from it if i just select on this uh, rated horsepower so this thing uh, this will generate a complete histogram for me okay and if i uh, if i click on this create data set so matlab will give me this histogram functions right okay i can now see that uh, you know according to the you know data what will be the density okay uh, and this from this rated horsepower column okay and now what i can do i can also uh, apply this cumulative probability functions or uh, 
okay so th this way you can you know you can visualize your data into this date distribution filter app right so now i can also compare this uh, with the uh, other thing for example if if you click on this manage fit then your data also will fit with different thing right with fit manager app also you need some you know the the data that you have uh, that you you'll have to add into this distribution fitter app just select your data then apply it on this thing okay so, so i uh, for example i'm applying this normal distribution okay if i apply it on this some manage fit see i can compare with the different uh, distribution functions right okay if i am satisfied with this result so what i can do if i if i click on this file icon so here you can generate code for it okay if i click on the generate code then matlab will create code for me okay and i have given the name for this create fit okay same thing i have done here into into this mpg distribution function in uh, this function so i have created this function using this distribution fitter app right so if you move forward some some grouped visualization like so using scatter okay some scatter plot so using the g scatter functions what i can do i can simply i can simply apply this g scatter app on different uh, we can say that uh, columns or the variables which available into this car data table right and i can see some uh, scatter plot there if i click on this okay so matlab will give me this result let me maximize it first okay so what g scatter has done for me so the so for, sorry so this is the data distribution that i have you know we 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 saw that how we can you know create a distribution filter app function there so the data that i have the what what is the city bound what is the highway fit so what is the city which is you know the fitted data which is in the city fit and what is the data which will be uh, fit on the highway okay so this we can say that the data distribution okay and applied on the normal distribution method right this can be done with mpj distribution right